In this video, we will be looking at how to use advanced scripts for a recirculation system. This is a powerful feature that can automate your setup for extended periods of time. Turn on the pressure controller with the power switch in the back. In the home screen, go to General Settings, About, and Check. Your flow sensor model should be displayed on the appropriate channel, here channel 2. Next, go to flow sensor calibrating. Ensure the equation matches your substance, in this case DI water. Under rotary valve settings, press check rotary valve. The switching valve should be enabled. If your script was already finished, you can load it now by entering this menu. Otherwise, we will now go over how to write a basic one. A new script will only have the initial step. Set its runtime to 10 seconds to let the valve warm up. Turn on your pump. If it is external, make sure to check this. Turn off all pressure controller channels. These will be labeled valves. Close the rotary valve. To do this, you must still power it on first. We'll now write two steps with reservoir 1 as the fluid source. Pick fixed time period for both of them. Set the first step's runtime to 1 second. Set wave type to constant and target pressure to 1 psi. Turn on channel 3 and set the rotary valve to mode 2. Set the second step's runtime to your desired length. Here it's 84 seconds. Press the blue pressure button to switch to flow rate. Set target flow rate to 5 milliliters a minute. Keep the active channels unchanged and keep the rotary valve on mode 2. Now repeat this process for reservoir 2 and write steps 3 and 4. Step 3 is very similar to step 1, but now we turn off channel 3 and turn on 4. We also change the rotary valve to mode 1. Step 4, meanwhile, is similar to step 2. The only difference is that it uses mode 1 of the rotary valve. We'll now need another step to implement a loop. In Step 5's runtime, toggle Loop so that it turns green. Make it go to Step 2 and set Loop Count to 1 less than your desired cycles. Since it will go to Step 2 after execution, we want Step 5 to have the same settings as Step 1. However, we must still turn off Channel 4 since it was previously turned on. The last step we write will close all our components. It only needs a one second runtime to do this. Once this is done, we can name our file and save for later usage. Press play to load your script and you are all set. 